So, remember when I said that you were going to do the the first algorithm that I showed you that's going to translate later? Well, it's going to translate now. Um, that algorithm is called a cycle, basically. When you do six of those, the cube returns back to a solved state. However, when you do an even number of those, the only um, piece in the bottom layer that's affected is this corner. And you can use this algorithm to move these corners around. And luckily, by I'm not sure the exact mathematics behind it, but the orientation of these corners will always be off with, you can always solve it with a set of six corner tricks. Uh, sometimes it takes 12, but that's just two sets of six. So, I'm going to show you how to use a corner trick to orient these edges. And this is a kind of um, abnormal case. Generally, well, this and three edges that are wrong are your most normal cases. So I'll show you this, then when three edges are wrong, and then when all four edges are wrong. Okay, so when you're going to be orienting these corners, oops, I'm sorry, um, when you're orienting these corners, it's very important that the corner that you're working on is in the bottom right face with white facing up. I cannot stress this enough, if you don't do it like this, you will screw up your cube and you have to start off all over again. So, the corner trick, as I mentioned before, is right, up, top face clockwise, right down, top face clockwise. Now you want to do this until this corner, the blue, red, yellow in this case, is correct. So I'm going to do it again. So right up, top face clockwise, right down, top face counterclockwise. And you can see that this piece is in the right place. So now, since the only piece in this bottom layer that's affected is this piece, we can turn the bottom layer freely and we can bring this other corner into place and we can affect it using this corner trick and we can finish up the cycle and this corner will be solved. So we have to do this corner trick four more times in order to put the cube back to its normal state. So we're going to do that and luckily since this yellow piece is facing out on this onto it towards us we will be able to solve it using four corner tricks and this will happen you will never get a case where only one corner is flipped around if you do somebody mess with your puzzle and you can just take that out and put it back in you solved it legitimately yourself so here we go we're going to do four corner tricks so right face up top face clockwise, right face down, top face counterclockwise, right face up, top face clockwise, right face down, top face counterclockwise. Now before I continue, you see that this piece is in the right place again, but instead of the yellow being here, the yellow is there. Let me do it two more times, the yellow will move down here. Watch. So, top face up, or I'm sorry, right face up, top face clockwise, right face down, top face counterclockwise, right face up, top face clockwise, bottom right face down, top face counterclockwise. And you have everything solved except for this layer on the bottom which when you turn twice you get the solve. So that was one of the normal cases. I'm going to set up the uh, other uh, relatively abnormal case, a relatively normal case here when you have three of them that are not right. Now, you'll either get where you have to do two corner tricks on each of them to flip them, or four. In this case, it's two. I'm not going to show you the four because you already know the movement. So, in this case, we'll do, since this yellow piece is facing to the right, I'm sorry, we need to do it two times so that the yellow is going down. So, right up, top clockwise, right down, top counterclockwise, right up, top clockwise, right down, top counterclockwise, and this piece is solved. So we rotate the bottom layer and we get a new piece that's wrong in this working slot. So we do the same set of moves, right up, top clockwise, right down, top counterclockwise, right up, top clockwise, right down, top counterclockwise, and again this piece is solved. 
Now, again, we need to do two, and we have two left in our cycle. So, right face up, top clockwise, right face down, top counterclockwise, right face up, top clockwise, right face down, top face counterclockwise, and again, yay, we, we, we solved it. So, um, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break and set up this last case. Alright, I know this before we get getting along, this is the last case, I promise. Okay. Alright, I kind of botched it, and I messed up, and I did the tricks with the orange on the bottom. Please bear with me, this is relatively, this is the same thing. Um, except you're just looking for a different color. The orange is in the bottom. This orange is facing me, so that means I have to do four corner tricks. So, right up, top clockwise, right down, top counterclockwise, right up. Top clockwise, right down, top counterclockwise. It's in the right place again, but it's just flipped. So, right up, top clockwise, right down, top counterclockwise, right up, top clockwise, right down, top counterclockwise. It's in the right place. Now we can move the bottom face again. Orange is here. We need to do two move two corner tricks. Right up, top clockwise, right down, top counterclockwise, right up. Top clockwise, right down, top counterclockwise. You'll see that you've solved the top and the top two middle layers, but you still have these wrong. Again, you just do the same set of movements. So I'm just gonna do them real quick. So um, you've already seen that case, it was the first one. Um, just with two different corners. So basically that should give you the uh, knowledge that you need to solve your three by three.